What is going on guys, back with another episode of my reacting to editing music videos on, this is another one by Cole Bennett, um, if you guys have anyone that you want to see, comment it below in the description, I'll be going off that for most of this, or I'll just be picking things that I know how to do and that I think is interesting, so Cole Bennett, one of the best directors, um, he really knows how to take effects that I've taught you in my tutorials, so you can really go and see most of the stuff that I'm going to tell you on my channel, you're going to be watching Smoke Perp Ski Mask, shot by Cole Bennett, and um, right off the bat, before I even play the video, this effect right here, um, where um, he's cut out like this that is called that you can do that by doing a rotoscope brush So look up a tutorial on how to do that that's used throughout the video a lot uh, And basically what you're doing is cutting out a certain thing you want in the video and then you're creating it um, You're cutting out a certain thing you want in the video with the roto brush um, And that's through after effects so look up rotoscope brush tutorial if you want to know how to do that I'm pretty sure BGK productions has one on his channel if you want to go see that look up that channel uh, has some pretty good tutorials also. Alright, so right off the bat, this is just a pixelation. Um, Cole Bennett, right here, this little reflection is just probably just some different blending. And then the pixelation fades right into this, this video of a tunnel, flashes right at the beat drop, and then fades right into the rotoscope brush of um, Smoke Perp again, but this time he inverted it, made him look all blue and purple. And then another transition, he's back to normal but pixelated. Um, right here he probably right here he put a mask over it and put a pink background so really what he's doing is, here is he's creating a crazy mix of the rotoscope brush layer layer of smoke perp uh, performing plus a video layer of this tunnel plus this background probably just um, a regular um, solid that he's putting down a pink solid so but it's happening so fast that it just creates this like really crazy visual and it's real and because it's so linked together with the three videos and everything's happening so fast it can really link together and flow together so well because okay so moving on to the next scene um, he keyed out the black and just put out this white move performance right there that was pretty common that was a pretty easy effect to do just look up green screen lightning or um, any little lightning effects that you can find to overlay uh, right here you're getting just some crazy keying um, along with the video underneath the keying and this is even a sloppy key but it still looks pretty crazy back to the um, rotoscope brush where he cuts him out and then just keeps another video layer in the background might be a video overlay not a key because it looks like it's just overlaid it's just some reverse speed from a drone shot rotoscope with just black screen and a glow on all over the uh, rotoscope layer and for this video he does a lot of that reverse speed where it's like goes forward like this and then stops and probably a freeze frame and then goes backwards just from reverse speed pretty easy some keying in the background here probably just add this crazy sky and then zooms with a um, keyframe for positioning so verse again zooms into the person and out you can do that with just keyframing scale um, this is just a bunch of key this is just a bunch of keying keyframing the scale so it's like moving towards or he might add a camera on after effects to create that effect but um as you can see it keyframes out the it keyframes out the part here um, and then it's just going into the rotoscope part with another video layer underneath. So it's just kind of like a big mosh of craziness going on. And then masking again. Some more lightning you can overlay. Keying under the rotoscope brush layer. And that's basically it. So those are basically the effects he did. This one was kind of crazier because it was really fast. But that roto brush, the keying, it kind of... If, if you do that roto brush and the king you can really create the effect that he's trying to do here where he just mixes like three different video frames together to create one like crazy trippy look um, so look up roto brush tutorial um, if you want to figure out how to cut out a person and then you can just video put a video underneath it and then you can also put keying to just create this big blend of craziness and it looks pretty cool and he does it really well in this video so anyways guys hope you enjoyed this um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about and you're trying to find something more simple, just go look through my editing tutorial playlist. Learn all the basics before you watch the complex stuff because I'm not going to be um, demonstrating how to do this. It would just be too hard, but I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to tell you about it for people that know how to do the basics but just don't know how to create what he's doing. So you kind of have to have the eye for it, um, but I can point you in the right direction with these videos. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.